Hello everyone, my name is Tyler. I'm with Diesel Laptops. We're going to give you a quick little overview of the Marine module. It does come in two flavors, the first being the basic edition, which would cover all your gasoline engines, and then there's the plus edition, which would cover your diesel engines and the much bigger ones that typically have the engine compartments. So for right now, let's talk about some of these and we'll show you some examples. So I'm just going to jump right into them because I know that's what most of the people want to see anyway and check out the coverages. So let's go to our outboard motors. You'll find uh, every single outboard motor you can possibly think of is listed in here right now. And we're going to go into the this one right here. And then we're going to scroll down and we'll uh, we'll give this one a shot. But just to kind of give you an example of coverage, all these engines in here are completely covered with the Texa system. So uh, they, they tell us they have like 99.99% of the market covered for the marine engines. Uh, they say there's a handful out there that... They only sell a couple of them a year, the manufacturers, and they just really aren't ever being asked for. So uh, before I actually click on that, I want to show you this. So that was the start menu, which we normally click on. This little one over here will do the same thing, but give us a movie. Because Marine, every engine seems to be a little bit different where the connector is. So Texas does a good job of making these little videos in here to show you exactly where to go and where to plug in. So as you watch the video there, you'll see, you'll see I'm showing you where to go, what to disconnect, and, and where you would go. Um, so they do a great job with that. And very, actually, every single one I've ever gone to has those videos in there. And they also show you in the upper left corner up here the connector you would need, and they tell you the connector numbers you would need. So there's a big variety of cable connectors in the uh, marine market, but they're all listed there. And they also give you a little diagram here on left side of engine, right side of engine, where that connector should be located. So let's go ahead and hit the little check button. And we're going to simulate connecting up to this. We're not actually connected up to it. We just have a special little demo mode that we have to go through here to be able to connect to it. So this should just take a second and say and turn the key to the on, turn on the ignition key. So again, very important. Um, our kits do come with all the cables you would need to hook up to batteries if that's a situation uh, that's needed. So our kits are completely ready to go. No matter what you connect to, you're going to see the same tabs up at the very top. To go through them real quick, the parameter tab, this is where it's going to show you all your live data coming from that engine. Uh, over here on the right, it's going to give you a couple things. It's going to give you the live data, which is changing. The red would be your low, and your green would be your high value, since you've been connected to the engine. Uh, people always ask, well, how do I know what it should be? And that's very easy with the Marine Edition. Most of the modules are covered in here. So, for example, on battery voltage. If we click on this, you'll see over here there's a little question mark with a bubble that then highlights the bubble down here. I can click on it, and it'll tell us what the values should remain for that range. So that's a good quick way to kind of know if you're within spec or not. Fault codes. This particular demo model does not have any fault codes, but we'll hopefully find some here later that do. Status is going to give you some of the on-off and positions of things that are going on in the engine currently. ECU info will give you some coding, uh, maybe some hour usage, all that information will be listed in here. Activations, this is where you'd run your tests. So you'll see in this particular engine, uh, we have that battery voltage history, some cylinder tests we can do with the injectors, we can remove the airs, engine history, and again, because we're in a demo mode, we can't actually run any of these tests. Just trying to give everyone a nice, quick and easy feel for what the software can do. So there's also another button down here called technical documentation. I can click on that and we're going to have a couple things that are also included in here for repair help. Number one being self-diagnostic sheets. If I click on that, this is just a, this one's on every single one. It's an acronyms directory. It tells you what all these different acronyms mean that you kind of see across everything. So those are all listed. I click in here to vehicle sheets. You'll find a bunch of information relating to this particular, particular engine. Um, so any of these will give you a little bit more information. I can click on them. It'll pull it up. It'll tell me all about the throttle level, the throttle lever switches unit, and what you need to know about it and how it works. And obviously, there's some other ones that are listed there. And wiring diagrams is the other thing included. So it's giving me two options here, and I'll pick the second one. And what this will do is bring up some wiring for your particular engine. Now, it does a little bit more than just give you the pretty pictures. It does give you the pin locations. It does give you the colors of the wires. If I click on some of these, uh, let's try this one here. If I click on this one, it's actually going to show me a couple more things. 
I can click on image and I can get a nice quick image of what that sensor looks like. And I can actually click on any of those to be able to do that. So if I leave that, that up and I scroll through here, you can see pictures of the engines that they, of the pictures of the components they do cover. Let me close that. Let's go back to that cooling water temperature sensor. So I can click on it and there's one that says card and I can go to it. And this is going to have some really, really detailed information about that particular sensor. So as I scroll down here, it's going to talk about all kinds of things about that sensor, including spec values, uh, including where they're installed, how they work, what the resistances should be at different temperatures. So you can test the sensor. It's going to give you some tests on what you can do with that one uh, and so on and so on. There's an oscilloscope, some readings it'll show you and all kinds of good information to help you really troubleshoot and pinpoint any kind of issues you're having with those vehicles. So again, you can go to pretty much any of these and pull up that same information. So again, here's one about negative action. I was clicking on the ECU or the relay it looked like. So again, it'll go through and talk about it and give you some information on what you should be looking for. All right, so that really quickly just covers this one particular engine. And let's go do another one. We'll go do a jet ski or a watercraft here. So let's hop out of this one and we'll navigate through our tree when the, when the window decides to load up here. And I'm going to click on the menu up here and go back to diagnosis. Let's go to personal watercraft. Then we'll go to, well, let's go to Yamaha Marine. So let's go into Yamaha Marine, uh, wave runners. We'll just pick one at random, select it, personal watercraft. And we're going to do the injection system. And if you see here, again, the start button, but let's do the one with the start button with the movie so we can actually see what it does. So we'll hit demo diagnosis and let's look at our little movie because we have no idea where to hook up to these things. So in this example, they're showing us exactly in the front where the connector is. And they usually will do a good job of pointing it out and showing you what you need to disconnect and hook up to it. And again, keep in mind your cables are all listed up here on the upper left corner. And again, it's showing you what side of the watercraft you should be looking at for the connector. So I'll hit the green checkbox so we can go into this one. And into it we go. We'll just give it a couple seconds here and we'll see what we can pull up. So again, I always follow the directions that come up on there, but it does go into these fairly quickly. Parameters tab. Again, we have 14 different parameters and we can click on them, uh, hit the little button and it'll tell us what we should be looking at. Uh, faults, we have no fault codes, but if we did have them, you could click them and it would give you the actual code that it has. Statuses, ECU info, and activations and commands. And again, there's a bunch of them as well. So very similar things as the other one. And let's hop into one other one real quick, just so we can give people an idea of the coverage that you can do with this. So let's go back to personal watercraft. Let's try a SeaDo and we'll try a Wake Pro. So on this particular one, there's actually three different uh, control units on this particular one that we picked. There's an instrument panel, the intelligent brake and reverse, and the injection. In this case, uh, we only have a demo mode. That's what our D means on this particular module. So we'll go ahead and click on it. Uh, actually, let's go back one more and let's watch the video again to do the demo diagnosis and just make sure we know exactly where we're going. It's actually in which cable. Um, so again, obviously that one has the, the extra attachment on there. All the cables are available. We'll hit OK and they're going to give us another great little video here. Show us exactly where we need to go to hook up to this thing. So it might be a little choppy coming through as we're doing a video of a video but you get the general idea of what we're doing there. I'll hit the green check mark to go forward, click through the prompts, and we'll hit the confirm button here when it pops up. All right, so great. So on this particular one, uh, and again, we're not on the engine, we're on that uh, reverse and intelligent brake. So this will give us the values. Faults, we actually have some values here. I can double click it, get my actual engine code so I can do a little bit more research or look through some manuals or Google it. Statuses, give me some information, ECU info, a lot more information on this particular system. Activations, it looks like we can do a test and an air clearing. 
and settings, we have the IBR lock and unlock. So a lot of commands that can be run in here. Uh, I know sometimes people ask about some of the other ones, such as keys, and we can do that with the Texas system as well. Um, which one had the keys? Let me remember here. Yamaha Marine, I believe. Some of these Wave Runner ones potentially had some keys, I think. No, not that one. Now, actually, this will go through the last 20 that we were selected to. So uh, there was a CDU before um, that we may have found it. Oh, special functions over here on the left. So we click on special functions, we can crack, get into it, and here's where you'll find stuff about changing the vehicle configuration or doing um, uh, registrations for new keys. So you can do that kind of diagnostics as well. So a lot of stuff's in here. It's a great tool. We'd be more than happy to do a live demonstration with anybody if they want to do it. Just get with us and we appreciate you listening. Thank you very much.